All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Rage Shadow Legends free to play mystery shard only run video today we're going to do a quick little video showing off our new intro yeah it's cute right and then we are going to be looking at the fire knights castle there's a new tournament coming up to do it in the fastest turns uh it looks like stage 10 seems to be the quickest way to do this from what i've been seeing we did try it on stage 15 but we're going to go in we want to try and get these free things i know you guys are interested in it i probably will maybe not do it i mean i might we'll see how it goes but either way we're going to go into the fire knight castle and check out stage 10 and see if it's something that we can do fast now i just ran this with a random team of rares basically just so that you guys can see essentially exactly how fast you can do this and let's go look stage 10 this is why we did it in 14 turns all right and we did it with this team so we've got pig boy aka fleshmonger we've got the two doggos hellfang and hellspawn we've got mr coffin smasher and we've got kale so now we can do a double raid and we will start now basically these guys just kill things fast and that's why this works today look at that boom smack in the face do a quick hit and then the doggos are actually really strong i wish that they were speed tuned a little bit better we could probably do this a little bit quicker but unfortunately they can't so let's see how they do with the boss he's going to basically do double hits we have triple hits on uh, was it fleshmonger and we have a triple hit on coffin smasher basically have a four hitter on kale and it looks like the doggos are going to do just enough damage to kind of pop this guy off real quick hopefully he gets his next turn oh he missed it and there you go 15 turns which nets us a nice little 38 points for a double spin we can replay that again just so you can see it so don't think that if you are trying to do these tournaments that there is not a secondary option to doing this you just need to make sure one that your heroes are built obviously if you don't have strong enough heroes for this kind of thing then you might not be doing this tournament but it doesn't mean that you can't at least try i mean if you if you have a ton of energy and you want to run in there and just kind of bang it out i mean that's up to you i'm not going to stop you we have gotten a lot of energy recently <laughs> there's a lot of stuff going around so otherwise if you have a bunch of level 60s don't think that you have to do this on like stage 20 especially if you're going to want to do it in like a a fast manner I ran this on stage 15, not with this team, but we did like my normal thing, and I got 17 points, all right? Here, I'm getting between 19 and 18 for doing literally stage 10. Now, if you have a speed team, obviously, there's a better way to do this. If you have a, a speed team that can run stage 25, this video is essentially not for you, obviously. But if you are not that kind of person, and you basically kind of maybe not just started, but you're at least you know mid-game, and you have some reasonably built heroes, just bring in a bunch of heroes that have multi-hits on their... A1s if possible. That's why we have Coffin Smasher. He has a three hitter on his A1. We've got Fleshmonger who's got a three hitter on his A1. Kale has a four hitter and Hound Spawn actually hits twice. Hellfang is there just to help with the waves because it's kind of fun. We could probably do this a little bit quicker if I took out uh, one of the doggos, but then they lose their special skill. So unfortunately, that's not going to work for us. But as you can see, they handle this pretty nicely. They get through it quickly, and that's all that matters. We just want to get points so that you can ultimately get to that, you know, final reward of those prism crystals if you are trying to push for that. And maybe you can get a good summon. Maybe we'll do that later. We'll do a quick summon video and see if it's something that, uh, <laughs> that I luck out on. I may do this just for funsies because it's actually kind of fun to see what hero I get from the uh, prisms. So there you go. I mean, like I said, it's an easy, easy win as far as just using random heroes i'll show you my heroes real quick just so you can see that i did build them obviously they're going to be a little bit stronger than normal because obviously i've been playing for a while however don't think you need the craziest heroes to do these events so there's your hound spawn a little bit crazy all the skills max with his masteries we're going to look at kale he, all these guys have champion spotlights if you want to see them and his life steal and his skills and all his masteries and then we've got who else who else do we get in there coffin smasher right we got coffin smasher here somewhere he's not even built that great but he's got some stuff on him he's okay there you go skills maxed and all of his masteries and then we've got hellfang right right here there you go all his stuff he's got speed 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 all his attack and all his masteries and then what else do we got we did uh fleshmonger right he was the other one who's really cool so he's got his accuracy and crit rate he's pretty strong I actually really like him he's one of my favorite heroes and his masteries so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave a comment like i said this is just a quick video to kind of show you guys how you can do the fire knight easily and quickly without having to farm the highest stage and spending your entire day in here literally just going to stage 10 you can get 19 points per run that's 38 with the super raids and there you go you can have fun waste all your energy and have a great time all right so this is mobile gamer nerd and you guys care.